Hi, I'm Dara. I'm the Behavior Programs Assistant here at the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region, and today we're going to talk about puppy socialization. When getting a puppy, it is very critical to work on socializing them to help them get used to a variety of different environments and people and to help them be set up for success as they continue to get older. So when you first get your puppy, you really want to just work on handling them and getting them used to having their paws touched or their ears touched and their tails. You can even pick them up and give them a little hug. And what this does is it helps them be used to being handled so that whenever they're pet by you or strangers, children, or even going to the vet, they are used to it and they don't have any negative reactions. Once you've kind of established a relationship with your puppy, you do want to start introducing them to other people. And this is a variety of people. So men, women, children, strangers, even people acting weirdly. And within those groups, you want a variety as well. So people that are very tall, maybe very short, facial hair, glasses, wearing uniforms, any kind of person your puppy might come across in its life, you wanna to try to introduce them to at an early age. Now, what did I mean about people acting weirdly? Well, weird from the puppy's point of view. So people pushing a stroller or using a vacuum, maybe singing or playing an instrument. Again, things that might be normal for people, but might be kind of weird for your puppy to see. And ideally, you do want to introduce your puppy to about 100 people between the ages of two and three months. The next part of socialization is introducing them to other puppies. And just like people, you want a variety. So different breeds and ages and sizes so they can get used to playing with all kinds of different dogs. It's even important to introduce them to adult dogs so they can learn from them as well. This can be established through doggy daycare or play puppy classes or even puppy parties with your friends. And the whole point is to play so they can establish how to talk to other dogs. And again, you want to start this around three months. So when you are introducing your puppy to other places and people and especially dogs, you do want to keep their safety in mind. And to do that, you want to make sure they're fully vaccinated before you take them out into public. You can do this by talking with your veterinarian and establishing when it is safe for them to actually go into public. You also want to avoid anything that might be overly frightening for them as if they experience something prior to three months old that is especially frightening, it could be traumatic and affect them for the rest of their lives. Puppy socialization is critical for helping them to become successful adults. It can help prevent fear and aggression later in life because they already have learned how to adapt to situations that they may not be familiar with. But if you do have an older puppy or an adult dog, don't worry, you can still socialize them. It just may be harder and take more time as they've already learned how to behave in certain situations and you're going to have to work on retraining them. For your puppy to be successful around other dogs, it's important that they do meet a variety and this is dogs outside of your home. So even if you have a dog in your home or if you get a litter mate, you do want to introduce them to dogs outside as well so that they don't just get adjusted to the dogs in your home. This is especially important with litter mates as they often can bond to each other and not with the people that they live with and in the long run could end up having some dog issues where they'll be great with the ones in your home but may have issues if you take them out into public. Socialization is a critical part of helping your puppy learn and grow. While they are fun to be around and fun to play with, you do want to set them up for success as they continue to get older. And the easiest way to do that is to start when they're really young like this guy here and just slowly introduce them to things. And hopefully you'll have a lifelong companion.